Get full episodes of The Damage Report as a podcast on iTunes and Android, and you can watch the live show every weekday on YouTube TV. We obviously dwell in a bubble here of US domestic news, but lots going on around the world. So we like to occasionally step out of our bubble in a segment we call Meanwhile In. That was ridiculous, Brett, what are you doing? Okay, that's a shot of me in Svalbard. Okay, so meanwhile in Norway, this was the first year that the Ballon d'Or presented annually since 1956 was designated to have both male and female recipients. This is an athletic achievement award, now has both male and female recipients, which sounds like a good thing until you find out what they asked the female recipient immediately after she got her award, which you'll see here. Is that you said to work No. <laughs> okay, so you probably don't speak that language, uh, which presumably is Norwegian. Um, but the idea there is that she had just won the award, and so they asked, would you twerk for us? Or do you know how to twerk? Do you know how to twerk? They wanted her to twerk, basically. Which, she had just received a historic award yes. as a young female soccer player, and they wanted her to uh, perform a dance twerk. for her. They literally saying dance for us. Twerk. That's now I know how to say now if you I go know there. some French, twerk. And now you should feel like if you go there, tell the men to do it, because that's what they do. It, no, um, it's, it, that is so offensive. The, the Ballon de Oro, I'm like in Spanish, because that's where I remember it from. But like it's like Messi, Ronaldo, Messi, Ronaldo, Messi, Ronaldo, and now the first woman. It's a huge accomplishment. Mm-hmm. Um, and in front of everybody, like the journalist is going to ask her, like, will you twerk for us? Yeah, what a stupid thing to say. Are you kidding me? And meanwhile, I don't know if you caught that second shot, all the dudes who are like watching all the other soccer players, um, I feel like they're waiting for her to just totally rip into mm-hmm. him. They're like, and or maybe nope. they're waiting nope. to watch her twerk, but they're like, what? Yeah, they're one guy bated like, breath. Qu'est-ce que c'est toi qui? Yes. Uh, uh, now, thankfully, she did not do it and didn't have to because she doesn't have to. She is an award-winning soccer player. She can do whatever she wants. This is also a woman and who's boycotting the upcoming World uh, Women's World Cup, I believe. Uh, because of the, the, she was talking about the lack of respect for women's football. And she, all that. Yes, she has spoken out against a lack of respect uh, in women's football, and she, I believe, is boycotting the upcoming games. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't attest to that, but that sounds right. Well, right, I and mean, we all know that, like Women's World Cup, like they were forced to play on like astroturf instead of actual grass. There's been there's like a lack of funding, and she speaks out about that publicly. And so, I think for anyone else, you know, it's like okay, make a dumb joke, laugh it off, blah blah blah. I get it. And so part of me was like, how could, why couldn't she just laugh it off, you know? But this woman speaks on sexism in exactly. in athletics and in soccer specifically, and yeah. she's being asked this question. It's like. Get out of here, man. Exactly, uh, ridiculous things going on in Norway. Uh, meanwhile in. <laughs> meanwhile in Nigeria, their president had to do an interview uh, to reassure people that he is not a clone, actually. Uh, this is uh, Muhammadu Buhari, who's running for re-election in February. He spent five months in Britain last year uh, being treated for an undisclosed illness. Uh, one theory widely aired on social media and by some political opponents was that he had been replaced by a lookalike from Sudan called Jubril. He uh, did this interview and said, it's the real me, I assure you. I will soon celebrate my 76th birthday and I will still go strong. Buhari told Nigerians in a town hall session in Poland. It's not a clone, it's not a pod person, it's your president. I look, social media, people say crazy things on social media, but his political opponents were spreading this. This just warms my heart, you mm-hmm. know? Of course his political opponents were spreading it, that's good for them. It just warms my heart to know that the US is not the only country that has a bunch of crazies who believe conspiracy theories. Yeah. Nigeria does too, hey, yeah. we've got something in common, we're not number one. Exactly, uh, <laughs> that, and this is next level crazy. I mean, look, we had people saying on the eve of the 2016 election that Hillary Clinton is gonna die Parkinson's any day. Like yeah. she's literally gonna die. But nobody was saying that she was a secret clone, I don't think. Well, if they had Maybe thought of it, they would have floated that first. Um, 2020, I'll, Bernie Sanders, definitely a clone. For sure. Yeah, RBG, rapid aging technology. I actually think RBG might be a clone. I, I wish that she was Yeah, a clone. we need to create strong clone clones bones. of her. Uh, okay, so that's going on. Uh, meanwhile in. 
Meanwhile, in France, the uh, yellow vest protests have moved into their third week. Uh, absolutely vicious uh, rioting and counter force from the police uh, that's left at least four people dead at this point. Uh, one woman was killed, an old woman was closing the window of her apartment and was hit in the face with a tear gas canister and killed. Um, just brutal, 80 year old woman was just trying to close the shutters, probably to ward off the sound or maybe some of the tear gas in the area and ended up being hit in the face and killed. A spokesperson for the Yellow Vest Movement, Christophe Chalancon, called for the government to resign on Monday to be replaced by what he termed a true commander like Jean de Villiers. Jean Pierre de Villiers is a former head of the French Armed Forces who quit after a clash with President Emmanuel Macron over budget cuts. So there's this big protest going on. The police have been pretty brutal in their crackdowns on the protests. Apparently widely supported across France. They're fighting back against these these gas taxes that they believe benefit only the wealthy. That apparently now the French government is saying that they're not actually going to do. So big turmoil in France going on. But resignation well. probably won't happen. Of Macron? Yeah. I would Call imagine not, it, but yeah. yeah, you never know. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full damage report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.